more. Hello. So, Council, have you received all discovery? Judge, I have. Uh, I'm here because Ms. Mendoza requested that I withdraw. And um, in the past, I had always brought those to the court's attention. I generally see the court rejected. Um, but I recently, the new thing that is done over at the jail is they request you withdraw. Then they file a bar complaint against you. And then 20 hours later, as a lawyer, they reject the bar complaint. They end up getting another lawyer who doesn't do any better. And you've spent 20 hours of your time. I've done this two to three times in the oh, last Oh, no, here's months. the thing. Um, Ms. Mendoza? Mm -hmm. Hi. How old are you? I'm 31. All right. So if you want an attorney, yeah. then you need to, if you want a different attorney, you need to hire an attorney. Do you understand? Okay, I understand, but he's basically telling me that these classes don't. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Let me explain something to you. Mm -hmm. And this is me talking to you as somebody who's been a defense attorney, somebody who's been a prosecutor. Sometimes I would have clients who would think that what they're telling me would help their case. And it wouldn't. It had nothing to do with the price of peaches. But it's always nice for clients to take classes while they're in custody to try to get their life in order so that maybe if an agreement is worked out, that's something that can be presented to the judge. In this court, this is the process. I make sure that the defense has all of the discovery. What does that mean, discovery? It means that he's been given everything that the state has about your case so that he can properly prepare for your case. Then I require that the state make an offer to the defense mm -hmm. and then the defense is ethically obligated to present that offer to you. And then you can either reject it or accept it. If you accept it, then there will be a plea agreement. I will accept the plea. If you reject it and you all are not to able to come to an agreement, then it will be set for trial. Here's the problem that I see a lot with people who are charged with cases. They think that attorneys, all we do is talk. They don't think there's anything behind that. But guess what? Every attorney that you see in here, one, at least has an undergraduate degree. Then they had to go to law school. And when you see attorneys talking, there's knowledge about the legal world and experience based upon their life and based upon what they have done. So just like you wouldn't go to a doctor if you needed a heart surgery, I guarantee you, you wouldn't be telling that doctor. And I know you're not listening to me, but I, I don't, I don't, I, be, I don't believe you would be telling that doctor how to do a heart surgery. I don't think you'd be handing to that doctor and saying, Hey, let me show you this paperwork where I went to go to listen to somebody speak about something. And you wouldn't expect that heart surgeon to say, you know what? You're right. This is how I'm going to do that surgery. But for some people, some reason people feel the legal profession, just anybody can do it. And you know what? If anybody could be in the legal profession, then we wouldn't have law schools. And then anybody could have their bar card and anybody could do what attorneys do. So what I'm telling you is this is not Burger King. If you want your own attorney, that's the way to get Burger King service. The way you want it, you go out and hire an attorney. And I guarantee you when you hire that attorney, he's going to, he or she will tell you. There are a few things that as a defendant, you have a choice over. You have a choice. Am I going to testify at trial or not? Am I going to accept a plea bargain or not? Those are some of your choices. But trial strategy, that's not within your purview. That's solely within the defense attorney's purview. So this attorney is willing to speak to you. This is the attorney who's been appointed to represent you. But what I can tell you is this train is going to keep moving. You understand? Yeah. So all discovery has been received. State, were you able to tender an offer? Yes. Were you able to talk to your attorney about the offer that was tendered? Mm -hmm. Yes, we talked about it. Do you need more time to talk to him about the offer? Oh, yeah. All right. So if y'all will sit in the box and he will talk to you, and then you can reapproach counsel. Yes, sure. <laughs> 15 minutes later. Who's here on Frederico Ojeda? State of Texas versus Samantha Mendoza. 
Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Eddie Bravenek. Are you Samantha Mendoza? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, have you received all of the discovery? I have, Your Honor. Ms. Mendoza, did you review the document entitled True Bill of Indictment with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? I do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? No, Your Honor. We're waiving the enhancement paragraph. Any objection? No, Your Honor. Did you review the document entitled Court Admonishments and Defendants Waivers and Affidavit of Admonitions with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of possession of a controlled substance? Yes, Penalty Group 1, 4 to 200 grams. That's a second degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 2 to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Wrong. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes, Your Honor. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? She has, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? I do, Your Honor. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Mendoza, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? No, Your Honor. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, Your Honor. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Did you review the plea bargain page with your attorney and did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at five years in the prison. There's a $1,500 fine and there are no applications. Did you understand that to be the yes, plea? Yes, Your Honor. Defense, is that the plea? It is, Your Honor. State, is that the plea? It is, Your Honor. Did you review the waiver of appeal paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Counselor, have there been any such motions? No, Your Honor. Then to the offense as charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Guilty. I'm sorry? Guilty, Your Honor. State, any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State exhibit number one with all this attached. No objections. All right, state, you may be excused. Did you review the document entitled Waiver and Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports? But most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one in attachments and review the same. No, I'm sorry, please say yes, Your Honor. No, no, she, she's not asking. Yes, she's just telling you that she's looking over the document. Okay. Yes. Again, if she answers questions, listen to what she says and answer that question. You yeah, don't understand. I just thought you were in All right, after reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty, and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? If the court would allow us to. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Judge, it's pretty simple. We just asked you to follow the plea bargain. All right, the court is finding you guilty. The court will sentence you to five years in the prison, give you credit for any time served. There's a $1,500 fine, time, and money to run concurrent. And I see in the documentation that she's on parole. She is. All right. Has a parole been revoked? 
And they're waiting for me to handle these charges. All right. Well, I can ask that this sentence run concurrent with parole. However, I have no jurisdiction to force them to do that. If they decide not to do it, they don't have to do it. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right, this will run concurrent uh, with parole. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm assuming it's the case that the state, the uh, enhancement, uh, 2021 CR 11775. And there's also, according to this police report, there was an evading as well. And I don't have an evading case number. All right. Thank you. All right. Anything else with regards to sentencing? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Did you review the document entitled uh, Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your And did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right, we can go off the record. How old are you? I'm 31. You're 31. Do you have any children? No. All right, so here's the thing. You're 31. You still have a chance to improve your life. Um, you got to start making a decision. Do you want to still continue to live this chaotic lifestyle or not? The vehicle you were in, think about it, had no steering column because somebody had stolen it. Yeah. The window is busted out. And that's the vehicle you're driving around in. You know? So either you're going to continue to use drugs, continue to do this craziness. And guess what? If you come back to a felony court, depending on the level of felony, your minimum sentence is going to be 25 years. And you need to ask yourself, whatever you're doing in the free world that is against the law, is it worth potentially 25 years of your life? If it is, you'll do it. And guess what will happen? You will wake up. You will find a majority of your life has been spent in prison. You understand? And if a majority of your life is spent in prison, it's not your attorney's fault. It's not the judge's fault. You know whose fault it is? Yes. All right. So when you go back to prison, try to improve yourself. If you don't have your GED, get your GED. If you don't have a college degree or have any type of trade, you can get that. It's free at the prison. You understand? Yes. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.